I am going to uh, tell you about the how to prepare for uh, the t electrical engineering students. Before that, so if you see in 2015, marks wise under rank. So the first rank was for 75 marks under 75.96 so because 96 is for normalized marks. If you 74, 5, fifth rank, 70, 20 rank. If you see the 52 marks, 52 point something, it was 529 right if you score between 50 to 65 50 to 65 your rank will be 500 to 50 that is for 53 marks the rank is 500 for 65 so your rank will be 50 right if your mark is in this range your rank will be less than 500 right? this is a gate uh, 2015 so in uh, 16 also approximately uh, this is a uh, rank wise performance maybe because in the electrical there is no I mean uh, maybe 50,000 people can write right if people uh, the number of students are increasing the marks wise performance will increase suppose uh, in uh, ECE in this uh, 2016 uh, 1,50,000 has written so for 89 marks they have got first rank so depending on number of students the rank wise performance will either increase or decrease right so our aim is if your aim is less than 500 see how to score between 53, 53 to 65 marks so now we will see in the gate 2016 subject wise performance right so I am going to tell you about the so gate 2016 electrical engineering subject wise so in electrical there are 10 subjects that is mathematics electrical circuits or network theory signals and systems, control systems, electromagnetic fields, the EMF and the digital electronics and analog electronics uh, including these two subjects including in a single subject so uh, analog electronics and digital electronics and uh, there is one more subject electrical machines, power systems, power electronics and one more is ma measurements so these are the 10 subjects and there is a general aptitude for 15 marks now we will see marks I mean marks based performance so if you, if you see the mathematics the set one one mark questions were four two marks questions are five right so five into two ten and this is four so in in only mathematics you are getting 14 marks that means if you perf if you study or practice very well mathematics you can get at least 12 marks or 10 to 12 marks in this right similarly electrical circuits we got eight marks in electrical engineering so this is also you can we score maximum 100 percent that is you can score eight eight marks here i can get suppose 10 marks signal system also we can get easily because say again numerical subject only if they given seven marks you can get at least six marks right and the control system it is a very easy subject uh, for electrical students also so you are getting nine marks eight to nine marks eight to ten marks there is a range you can get get at least eight seven to eight marks so you can score eight marks here EMF I think it is somewhat uh, somewhat typical, typical so I can uh, neglect but we got 5 marks in the uh, set 1 and including digital electronics and analog electronics we got 11 marks right so for electrical engineering students uh, digital electronics somewhat easier but if you go for analog electronics somewhat we may face difficulty so uh, my suggestion is the go for digital electronics 100% that is if they have given 6 marks at least you should get 5 marks here right so in analog electronics if you learn simple basics also you can get 1 to 2 marks at least so from 11 marks you can score maximum 7 marks so that is strategy only now electrical machines 10 marks we got power systems 8 marks power electronics 10 marks now what you have to do is so you have to uh, select from these measurements also three so you can uh, neglect measurements also but from these core subjects you have to choose one, one or two so suppose if you choose an electrical machines so you have to give 100 percent that means if they given 10 marks you should get at least 8 to 10 marks right minimum 8 should get 8 and if you choose power electronics so it, you have to prepare very well that for this you have to choose any two subjects and you should get a minimum 8 marks right you can neglect the, or you can uh, go only study the some basics uh, you may get one or two marks from this right so i'm taking one if you add these marks so 10 8 18 24 
32 approximately if you perform or if you practice very well by this all these subjects you can get at least 58 marks from the core subjects only right if in the general aptitude if you score 8 marks at minimum so your uh, total marks will be 66 marks right so you can get below I can get below 50 rank so but because uh, 2015 we have seen it was less than 50 rank only but what my session is so take first of only only five subjects that is mathematics electrical circuit signal system control system and digital electronics so if you prepare very well if you are scoring these subjects 100 percent so you can get a confidence then you can choose either one of these two subjects then you can prepare very well so you can get at least below 100 rank right this is set one again you will see the set two set two if you see again mathematics 15 marks see mathematics in the previous set was 14 now it is 15 so you have to prepare very well the mathematics and the electrical circuit control system approximately same range only and electronics under digital electronics approximately here 8 marks we got electrical machines again 10 marks previously we got 10 same 10 marks in the preset one here also set one is 10 marks only similarly power systems 11 marks emf 6 marks we got here and power electronics 8 marks right so if you observe these two sets this five see mathematics electrical circuit control system signal systems and digital electronics from only these subjects you are getting 15 plus 16 31 plus 11 approximately 40 two marks you are getting if you prepare very well the only these five subjects you can get at least 40 marks from only these five subjects now if you prepare very well GA so I mean general aptitude if you are scoring 10 marks you are getting 50 marks so I'm sure if you neglect all the other subjects also you can get at least 50 marks but if you learn some basics analog electronics power systems power electronics and measurements you can score minimum 10 marks so I'm sure if you prepare with the plan first these five subjects you have to prepare very well then some basics so that basics means you have to know the concept it's not like you remember something so you have to plan with according to this so I'm sure you will get minimum 60 marks if you plan accordingly these procedures so this is about the electrical engineering the subject wise performance so i hope this video is helpful for you all right all the best